ever find yourself gazing at a car thinking, wow, that's an absolute masterpiece? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey through the realm of automotive artistry. If you think cars are only about getting from point A to point B? Think again. Welcome, I'm Kevin, and we'll be cruising through the top 10 cars that redefine what it means to be a true work of art. Stick with me until the end because I've got a surprise waiting for you at number two. Let's hit the roads and discover these automotive masterpieces. Number 10, Bugatti Chiron Golden Era. Our adventure starts with talking about the Bugatti Chiron from what they call its golden era. The golden era Chiron is pretty much what it sounds like. Special version with cool drawings on its body. These drawings tell the story of Bugatti's history, showing famous models like the Type 41 Royale, and Type 57 SC Atlantic. Inside the car, you'll see more drawings of other Bugatti cars like the EB110, the Veyron, and of course, the Chiron itself. It's like a set of Russian nesting dolls, but with Bugatti's awesome hyper cars from different decades. The Chiron's smooth and fancy design gives a great background for these drawings. However, it's a bit funny that they use a simple pencil for this job on a super powerful hyper car like the Chiron which can zoom up to 300 miles per hour. That pretty much tells us this Chiron might end up spending more time in the garage than on the road. Number nine, Porsche 911 Lanzanti SJ87. The Porsche 911 SJ87 by Lanzanta might be the first time the canvas steals the show from the masterpiece it holds. You see, the 911 is like a big deal in cars, super iconic. The car called SJ87 is the eighth one among the 11 Porsche 930 tag turbos made by Lanzanti, a British company in motorsports and engineering. The engine of the 911 is powerful, making an estimated 750 horsepower in race mode. Lanzanti figures the car's weight about 2,248 pounds without the driver and fuel. What sets this car apart even more is the unique hand-painted finishes by Johannesson. He's been into art since his racing days, drawing inspiration from his artist grandfather. After his friend Elio D. Angelis passed away, Johannesson turned to painting as a way to cope. Now he's quite skilled and prolific. His artworks, often abstract, draw from his racing experience on Grand Prix circuits worldwide. Aiming to capture the thrill of driving 1,000 horsepower single seaters for those who might never get the chance. Number 8 BMW 850 DSi. Picking a favorite BMW art car is like choosing your best buddy. They're all awesome and could easily make it on the list. But the 850 CSI gets a special mention because it's cool kidney grills. Leak lines and unique Ninja Star wheels pave the way for a fantastic decade of Munich motoring. It set the stage for iconic rides like the E46 3 Series, E39 5 Series, the E36 8 Z3 Bread Van, and the E38 7 Series that James Bond made famous. Those were the good times, never to be forgotten. Adding to its charm, the renowned British artist David Hockney, known for the 60s pop art movement, did the paint job on the 850 CSI. And there's more artistry under the hood of the CSI. Beneath it lies a powerful 5.6 liter V12 engine, bringing the 8 series close to being a true M car. The 850 CSI has a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Thanks to a forged crank and lighter pistons, it packs a punch. With its manual gearbox and limited slip differential, this car leans heavily towards the sporty side of the GT spectrum. Number seven, Volvo V50. We got this cool Volvo V50 art car we got for you. It's designed by Romero Brito and has all kinds of fun stuff on it, like skis, parachutes, surfboards, and bikes. Romero Brito paints in a cool style named Neo Pop Cubism. It's like a mix of pop art and modern cubism. His art is full of bold colors, funky patterns, and strong outlines. Plus there's a playful touch that makes it feel fun and spontaneous. Brito's paintings celebrate life with lively and vibrant colors. 
The words all about adventure are written on the back, a nod to how roomy and lifestyle friendly it is inside. The V50 brings back memories of the good old days when Volvos were speedy without any speed limiters. This one with twin pipes is a T5 packing 217 horsepower and can hit 0 to 62 in 6.9 seconds with a top speed of 149 miles per hour. Not bad, right? Although it might not handle as smooth as modern BMW 3 Series, it sure brings some excitement. What makes Helio Triello's hand painting design on Lamborghini Huracan Evo a true masterpiece? Hold tight for the artistic details coming up. Number 6. Lexus LFA No need to push us. We love talking about the cool Lexus LFA, especially when there's news about an art car. So guess what? The company made an art car in 2018 to celebrate 10 years of their sporty F badge. An artist named Pedro Henriquez from Portugal did the design. He used smooth lines to show movement and change. Henriquez explained it's like this. The lines follow this sense of going everywhere and never stopping. Progressive life. I wanted to reach an organic feeling by using handmade material and liquid lines in the element spreads throughout the car. Be real, the best art on the car is the roaring 553 horsepower V10 engine. It takes the LFA from 0 to 62 in 3.7 seconds and zooms it up to 202 miles per hour. That's enough to make a whole generation rethink what they thought about Lexus. Number 5. Lamborghini Huracan Evo The artist gives props to the Hurricane Evo with a super cool hand painting design. For artists, whether they're into classic or new school vibes, fancy sports cars are like a blank canvas just waiting for awesome collaborations. Car enthusiasts see these rides as pieces of art reimagined by the creator's vision and brush skills. In a recent project, teaming up with the famous Lamborghini, Italian artist Paolo Trelio leaves his mark on the Huracan Evo. This Lambo, nicknamed Minotauro, gives its name from the mix of feeling and meaning Wallo had when he first laid eyes on the Lamborghini. Wallo shows love to the Huracan Evo by creating a cool blend of man and the bull symbol of Lamborghini, and the mythic vibe seen in the powerful, almost animal-like figure painted on the car's sides. Number 4. BMW Z1 Herb Wallen, a French race car driver, kicked off the BMW art car project. He got this cool idea to get an artist to turn a car into a canvas. In 1975, he asked his buddy, American artist Alexander Calder, to paint his first BMW art car. After Calder, lots of big shot artists from around the world joined in, like Roy Lichtenstein, Robert Rauschenbach, Frank Stella, and Andy Warhol. A bunch of fancy judges pick the artists for the BMW art car project. And guess what? There are 18 BMW art cars now. But here's a twist. Some artists went rogue and made unofficial BMW art cars. BMW doesn't officially give these a nod. One rebel is Keith Haring. In 1987, he painted a red BMW Z1 at the Hans Mayer Gallery. Now it's tucked away in a private collection. Herring's car rocks his bold lines and trademark symbol. Number 3. Bentley Flying Spur Bentley didn't want to get left behind by John Lennon's cool psychedelic Rolls Royce. So for the 2021 European Diversity Month, they made their fancy car called the Unifying Spur. Richard Morris did the art on it with the love is love symbol and the progress flag which has the pride rainbow plus black, brown, pink, and white to show support for people of color, trans, communities, and those affected by HIV. This special car, the Unifying Spur, went around different events to show Bentley's commitment to inclusive employment and a future with electric cars. And let me tell you, if you're going to tour events, the Air Sprung Flying Spur is the way to do it with style and comfort. Packed with a punch with a 542 horsepower and 568 pounds of torque. 
It can go from zero to 62 miles per hour in four seconds and has a top speed of 198 miles per hour. Now that's speed and style. Number two, Honda Civic Type R. If a carver needed a cool paint job to distract you from some iffy styling, it's the fast Honda Civic. The one I'm talking about is the Civic WTCC race car that hit Goodwill Hill in 2016. Honda joined forces with Gene Gratton Foundation to give fresh look to the Honda Civic WTCC car at the Greenwood Festival of Speed. The Honda Civic WTCC is one of four machines sporting a special artist design appearance for the FIFA World Touring Car Championship Art Car Contest, making its debut at the annual motoring event. Designed by Dominique Gratton, art designer at the Gene Gratton Foundation, it shows the comic character Michael Valente chasing a Ferrari through the Monaco Tunnel in the 1974 Grand Prix. The press release spills the beans on that. No denying it's a real head turner. To get the look yourself, you want an FK2 Civic Type R. It's famous for rocking a slightly souped up version of the VTEC 2.0 liter from the EP3 it replaced. But be ready for a bone-shaking ride and no fancy independent rear suspension like the EP3. Oops. Number 1. Ferrari 812 Competizione This Ferrari 812 Competizione stands out among the cars. Or maybe we should say art. You see here because you can buy this one. It's up for sale at a New York charity gala. But there's more to it than makes it special. The 812 Competizione showcases the design process of creating a new Ferrari and also serves as a display for the company's tailor-made personalization program. The paint finish imitates the yellow cards used by the Ferrari designers. The exterior lines reflect early sketches of new models, personally drawn by Ferrari chief designer, Flavio Manzoni. It gives off a classic Taylor vibe with its chalk lines and shiny paint job. At least, that's what we think. What's crystal clear is the Ferrari 812 Competizione, one of only 999 made, marks the end of natural aspirated V12 Ferraris. That alone makes it worthwhile to buy. These 10 cars aren't just rides, these are true works of art. From sleek design to powerful engines, they're masterpieces on wheels that were used as blank canvases. Curious about the rides you don't just survive the apocalypse, but can kick one off? Well, buckle up your seatbelt and get ready for these armored cars for the apocalypse. Let's roll in the world where the wheels are as fierce as the chaos they navigate. I'll see you over there.